Yo, what's going on, y'all? It's Combo Breaker 99. I'm back with another quick video. All right, y'all, just back just back with this real quick video here. I talked about this a little bit in a live stream last night, uh, you know, about Jessica Andrade and her choice to uh, not take the Valentina Shevchenko fight when it was offered to her. Uh, as y'all know, this was discussed a few days ago in an interview with uh, Jessica Andrade, her coach. Uh, he brought up the fact that right after her win in October over Caitlin Chikagin, um, you know, her debut at, at flyweight that the uh, Valentina Shevchenko fight was offered to her in December. And of course, you know, they felt like that was too short a notice and they turned the fight down. And um, they, they're trying to push out for a date sometime in like, you know, March or April or May or something like that. Uh, because, you know, Jessica Andrade, you know, that would have been a short notice for her. Also, you know, she had some other things going on as well. So, you know, um, the Shevchenko camp had reached out a few more times, they said, but, you know, they just felt like the dates weren't right. Um, so they're trying to push out for a date sometime in 2021. So uh, real quick, just going back and looking at the interview here, uh, Jessica's coach, uh, Gilliard, said that um, Andrade was to possibly take on Valentina Shevchenko in a fight in December. But they said the fight was too short a notice. Uh, Jessica just fought. She had some family and spiritual problems to resolve. They got in touch with us about the Valentina fight in December. And then once again after that, and we talked about it two or three times, we're just waiting on a date that's good for us and the promotion, you know. So um, right there, man, like like I said, uh, I really don't see this as a duck. You know, there are situations where fights have to make sense as far as like like you mentioned, promotion and um, a good notice, you know, especially when it's a big step up. Granted, OK, this is a big opportunity for Jessica Andrade to go for the strap, but I feel like she already played her pieces in the, in the correct manner already. I mean. She fought the number one contender in Caitlyn Chikagin, and she holds that number one spot. So as long as she has that number one spot for the next few months and, you know, she stays active with it, continues to try to push for this Valentina Shevchenko fight. I feel like she's in a good position that I feel like they're never going to overlook her and just close the door and Jessica Andrade. Come on. She is a future Hall of Famer and she has pound for pound one of the best resumes. So they're not going to they're never going to shut the door and Jessica Andrade and just say, yo, all right, you didn't take it this time. Well, you're not getting the fight. Because, come on, that's a, that, that is a short notice of a fight, you know. So they're not going to close the door on her for taking this short notice fight and then give it to, like, a Roxanne or a Vivian instead. You know what I mean? They're going to go with the big money fight. Because Jessica Andrade does hold that stock. She does hold that stock. She is one of the best fighters. And she is the one that moved up and says she eventually wants uh, Valentina Shevchenko. But at the same time, things do have to make sense. So not everything to me can be seen as a duck, especially in a situation like this. Uh, yeah, again, granted, it's a big opportunity, but at the same time, this is the biggest challenge. One of the biggest challenges of Jessica Andrade's career, if not the biggest, you know, she just moved up in weight and she's taking on who everybody considers the second best pound for pound fighter in WMMA today, you know? So who wants to go in there right after a fight in October, then jump right back in there in December and not prepare for the best fighter and one of the best fighters in WMMA, you know, what are you going to do? Just go in there, take the fight and say, oh, I, I got the opportunity to then blow it and lose it after only like a few weeks of training. No, for this type of fight, championship fight, champion versus number one contender deserves a full training camp for both parties, you know, and it deserves full promotion. And that's the second point that, you know, I agree with about her, her coach. This this is a big fight. This is big for the promotion. You know, you can't just throw this off as another stay active fight. Like if you call Angela Hill to fill in for a UFC fight night card or you call up Caitlin Chikagin and can you fill in for this UFC fight night card and boom, people are watching. No, this is a major fight that the WMMA community is anticipating, you know. So if you just throw it out there in December, everybody's going to be like, well, well, she's ready for this fight. We just saw her fight in, in October against Caitlin Chikagin. Like, I know if she's like your fan favorite you might want to see a return, but at the same time, you are going to kind of question, is she going to be prepared for pound for pound, one of the best fighters in the world? I don't think so. You know, so you got to look at it in that manner too. Like promotion wise, it makes sense to push this fight as the, as a, as a legit big main event. You know, you wouldn't see Rose Nama Yunus, uh, taking on Wei Lee in September, right after her win over, uh, Jessica Andrade in the rematch in July. Granted, if, if she didn't have a broken nose, like if she came out, you know, spotless. You wouldn't, you still wouldn't see her return two months later to take on uh, Wei Li Zong or something like that. You know, they would push it out because they know this is a big main event, uh, big main attraction type of fight. You know, so same goes for Andrade versus uh, Shevchenko. These are two future Hall of Famers in, in UFC, pound for pound 
uh, pound for pound resumes, pound for pound uh, top fighters. So you got to you got to treat it that way. Don't just offer her the fight in December, then expect her to take it like she's just like some type of journeyman. No, she wants her time to prepare whatever she has to do mentally, physically for this fight. So it makes sense. You know, I wouldn't even feel like she had to answer. Oh, I have family problems, spiritual problems like that. I'll just be like, yo, no, nah, man, this is a big main event. So we got to promote this thing right. I'll see you in the spring. I'll see you in the summer. You know, you don't see Earl Spence turning around after Danny Garcia fights. I fight Manny Pacquiao like a month or two months later. He said he'll return in the summertime for another unification fight. So you still need that turnaround just just for the fighter to rest and, you know, prepare uh, the right way, have the proper amount of time for training. So there'll be no room for excuses, because imagine that, too. If Jessica Andrade took the fight in December, winds up losing. And then after that, you know, she'll probably say something like, oh, man, well, I didn't have a full training camp. You know, she'll have that room to, you know, make that excuse. So you, you don't want any room for excuses, especially for like a big pound for pound fight like this. You know, same with Spence Crawford fights like that. Uh, if uh, Izzy and John Jones were ever to fight, that's not like a level of uh, short notice fight. No, nah. has to be full training camps, uh, proper promotion to push it. And again, going back to the WMMA promotion, you know, the uh, the WMMA aspect of it. When you look at it in this manner, like, come on, like, to push this 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 sport, you know, it's you know, WMMA is still separate than MMA. You know, a lot of men still don't know the women's fights. You still have to treat it like one of these big fights, like the men's fights. That's the only way you're going to get this sport on the map. If you continue to push them and just throw them in there as short notice fights, they're not really going to get that respect because nobody's going to really take the time to get to know them. See, if you push it out like a spring or summer uh, attraction as a co-main event to a men's fight or its own main event, get time to look, promote the fighters again. Uh, they get time to train. Uh, you get time. You get time to make the UFC embedded, uh, make it more exciting. You know, put the yeah, put those little documentaries on YouTube. Everybody can make their breakdowns and analysis, and you know they can actually take time to watch film to discuss this fight more and more. It'll build. It'll build up more steam. So all in all, man, it's a good choice on Jessica Andrade and her team to say, no, nah, we ain't gonna take this fight off of what a month and a half uh, notice or you know two months notice or whatever. We'll see you in like. March, April, May, and I think that's a good time too, just to like kick off 2021 right, and you know just stock up the fights in 2021. Now you know now everything's getting a little bit better. Um, so yeah, that's all, overall that's my thoughts. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what y'all think. I think Jessica Andrade is doing the right thing. You know, it's still a game of chess. She holds the number one spot, so they're never going to shut the door on her. She's in a good position where you know she can semi call the shots. You know, she can semi call the shots, and you know. And she's not even really drawing out her uh, out her uh, title opportunity here. It's, it's a fair amount. I mean, October to spring, that's that's regular fight turnaround, you know, instead of that short notice type, type deal. But, yeah, that's all I got, guys. It'll be good for the sport. It'll build up WMMA more if you push it out like a main event and give it its time uh, to grow, just like Whaley and Rose. You know, that's a fight you don't run a rush. These are two fights for WMMA that's really going to make the sport. That's all I got, guys. Combo Breaker 99. Let me know your thoughts. I'm out. Subscribe. Peace.